Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Ayad Mahmoud Amiri again. Welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to do this effect that I posted in my YouTube channel seven days ago. Took a bit longer to make the tutorial, but yeah. Before getting started with today's tutorial, if you are into After Effects, motion graphics, and VFX tutorials, I've created my new channel just tonight, an hour ago. You know, I posted my first video. So you can go ahead and check me out there. If you're into After Effects, VFX, and motion graphics, you can subscribe and support me here. So if you go into my Effects Maniac channel and you go down here, here is the my After Effects tutorial channel. You can go ahead and find it here and subscribe to support me there. So here is the effect. Of course, it is inspired by Aesthetic VFX. So if I go to YouTube, here is his channel, Aesthetic VFX. And he's done this video on Typeflow Fluid Balls. And the project files are also included, which I had to download and, you know, see and, you know, all that. So I'm actually going to go and I've actually done a version myself. And I'm going to go and show you guys how to do something like this, okay? So I've added some sound effects and some stuff. And if you want to get my versions along with some textures, you can go into my Patreon. The recent post is there, so it's included. Uh, even though if you're not a Patreon in my Patreon, you can download it, it's free, it's for general, so don't worry about you know joining the Patreon. Or if you want to, support me you can definitely join you're definitely welcome so uh, anyways you can get it here for free so here is the project file so if you download this you have the test one and you have some really cool ink textures some high-res textures which you can use to color your particles so this is really interesting so if I hit M bring up the material editor so if I go and apply like a different material to this so I'm gonna select my tie flow and apply it you will see that you will get that sort of texture. So it's actually a very simple effect. So I'm actually going to close this. I'll go inside my tie flow here. So I have a plane. I give birth to, uh, you know, zero to zero, you know, just static particles, 60,000 particles. And the mesh is just for rendering purposes. I have a shape. So I have two shapes here. I have a, uh, two geospheres. One is these large ones, which are only, uh, the frequency of them are 10%. So they're only consisting 10% of the total number of particles. And then I have another one, which are the 90% of them, and the size is a little lower. So in this one, you can see that the size is actually higher, so 200%. So there you see we have some different size particles so that's why we have two versions of them so with different scales but then you can you can change the frequency of them or how much they will be distributed along the surface by this frequency value so 10 percent and then we have position object of course i have a plane here which is for uh tide flow so the plane is here just a simple plane which is here so if i move this plane you will the particles will also move so we don't need to see this and nothing really fancy here to change object bind i have another uh, texture which is basically a plane the same copy of the plane so i pick that and then you want to lock to surface but then you want to change the sticky values the friction and inherit to zero because we want the particles to sort of move freely so this is actually a dense scene so that might take a bit longer to sort of process but yeah, you can see here that, you know, they are moving. So I've used like different textures here. And yeah, so they're they're moving, but the movement is actually done with the surface force. So for the surface force texture, uh, we have a texture right here. So if I hit M and here is the actual texture. So if I hide this, so surface force texture, I'm, go I'm going to turn this on. And what I'm going to do is select this, right click, isolate selection. So this is basically the texture that will cause the particles to sort of move in this uh, wavy sort of motion. You can see it better here. So it's actually looking really nice. Um, so the texture is pretty simple. So if I hit M, I have a noise and a gradient ramp. And I've added like whites and blacks, like eight nine sort of color 
flags and I've used a noise for the color map because I want it to be black and white and then I just add it to the diffuse of this material and we're going to be applied it to a plane and then we're going to be using this for the surface force texture and we don't want anything we want to turn down the attraction to zero and everything we just want to go into the texture values and leave everything else to default just the gradient trace to 0 0.007 and basically everything else is the same so that will cause the particles to sort of move in that in that fashion so I'm gonna end isolate and I know I'm going through this just pretty fast but if, if anything any questions you can ask them in the comment section below but it is a very simple effect and you can also download the project files in my Patreon for free. So even if you're not a member of my Patreon, you can just download it and, you know, use it for your own sort of things. Um, yeah, and then I have particle physics, which is very important, which is causing the particles to sort of, you know, collide with each other. And then I have set to scale radius and the multiply to 1 and the tolerance to 25%. So these are pretty, pretty basic values. So yeah, scale radius and that's it. And then very important here for the mapping because we want to apply that texture. And then I just copied the plane one more time and I've used this as a mapping. I've picked this and you want to make sure that you use effect particle mapping override. So the mapping is actually helping the particles to get the texture in like a plane or surface. So that's why we're getting the you know the textures that we use here so if I take this one and apply it to tie flow you will see that it will get that texture but if I turn off this mapping value or this mapping operator you will see that the particles will have no texture because it doesn't use any proper mapping so the mapping uh, you know does a really important job here so you want to apply that and pick the plane and and pick this option and you are good to go so then finally I've added like two lights from the sides you can also like cache it with tie cache because it is some sort of a heavy simulation because we have a lot of particles and they are sort of colliding with each other so you do want to cache them out and then render it it'll make the rendering a lot more easier so finally you will get something like this just like that yeah so yeah, that is basically an overview. It's a very simple effect. You can, you can again, download the project files on my Patreon. It's free. And if you enjoy my content, you can definitely go and subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. And yeah, this was the today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, enjoy working.